What a wild turn of events the last week has been for the Halo community. We on the channel have been covering the skill-based matchmaking situation a lot. I've been giving you guys all the information I can, outlining exactly the way the system is, explaining that the team that wins a game now is the one that exceeds expectations, a system that expects you to play better than your average every single game, a system that a lot of people are fed up with. With that said, I've been covering everything that has been coming out about skill-based matchmaking. Max Hoberman, when he spoke about it last week, it absolutely blew up. Hundreds of thousands of people saw it, and not just for Halo. We're talking Call of Duty, Apex, almost any game with skill-based matchmaking, people could relate to it. And they're like, wow, that's exactly why it's different now as compared to, say, 10 years ago. Well, Max has taken it a step further, and I feel very validated reading what I'm about to read to you guys, because another very important topic that video games, especially Halo Infinite, don't have at the moment is social features. The features that allow you to make friends with the people you verse. As even for me personally, my best Best friends I met on Halo. It's something that Halo Infinite doesn't currently have, and I hope 343 adds it. So Max Hoberman, for anybody who has been living under a rock and does not know who Max Hoberman is, he was the original Halo 2 and Halo 3 developer at Bungie. He created the skill-based matchmaking system for both games, and he purposely dumbed down the skill-based matchmaking for social-based modes to give more variety, as it showed it equaled better player retention. In for the ranked-based playlists, Max intentionally loosened the searching, so some games you'd get destroyed, some games you would dominate and it showed when you got a very close game players really tried their hardest now today max actually works at certain affinity and they're contracted to work on halo infinite there's a lot of secrecy and hush hush that they're working on project tatanka the unknown secret project that everybody thought was a battle royale we still don't know but i'm hoping whatever they work on max focuses on social features and that's what he spoke about today so max says wow the reaction to my rant about skill-based matchmaking has been off the charts i love reading the responses including people on all sides of the it's all useful data for my designer brain. Thanks for sharing your sentiments. Here's another old Halo development tidbit as a holiday treat. Here's where it gets good. Matchmaking gets all the focus these days. But what we developed for Halo 2 was actually an entire online ecosystem. For instance, we wanted friends to be accessible to you from anywhere, at any time. This didn't exist, you had to exit the game or go to a dedicated UI screen. That is why for say Halo Reach, your roster was on the right hand side. You saw all your friends online and with a click of a button, guess what? You could join or invite your friends. Friends. Now Max continues on to say indeed my strategy was to virtualize the LAN party experience that meant playing with friends without restrictions and helping people make new friends. If you already had your group great custom games otherwise matchmaking was meant to help you find friends to play with. Now reading that line do you think matchmaking today enables you to help find new friends? Absolutely not. After a game is over on Halo Infinite the lobby is disbanded there's no way to talk to the enemy team there's no way to communicate with the enemy team through voice chat or text chat during the game there's no proximity voice chat so you can't even hear the enemy team when they're near you or when they kill you in game. I'm pretty sure Call of Duty still has these things. Max continues on to say then, once we matched you, if you liked each other, why not make it easy to build a relationship? Lobbies and a recent players list. I actually had bigger plans that got cut. I know we shipped did the trick for many though, and that's a huge relief. And yes, it was very, very easy to party up with friends or meet new people online and say Halo 2, Halo 3, and Halo Reach. It's a shame it's not like that nowadays because I think it would do nothing but improve Halo Infinite's population. Max continues on by saying we tried to have something for everyone, including competitive players. A ranking system, ranked and unranked matchmaking, etc. There was much more to it, and some of my ambition was deferred to Halo 3, which is why Halo 3 was a lot easier to make friends, but together with great gameplay, it was enough to be a game changer. And it was. Halo 2 was revolutionary. Bungie kept captured the magic of a LAN and then made it virtual, something nowadays that people just take for granted, but back then it wasn't always the case. It really goes to show when you compare Halo 2, Halo 3 and Halo Reach, all the little things those games had when you add them all together makes a really social experience and 343 while you guys are fundamentally overhauling the desync that is currently plaguing Halo Infinite, I hope you guys consider adding social features as well. Max finally says, and it's something that's very, very interesting, that four to six players per team was the optimum number for a casually competitive experience. Five was my ideal number. I tested this a lot during development and it seemed to hold up. Thoughts? Well, my thoughts are Halo 3's Social Slayer was the perfect experience to just jump into matchmaking. Stakes were low, you'd play with your friends, you'd have fun. 10 players all up, 5v5, 
and it worked really well. We don't have a single 5v5 playlist on Halo Infinite, but I know Squad Battle, which is on the classic Halo maps, and Halo 4 is absolutely adored. We have a lot of 4v4 playlists on Halo Infinite, and I know the Halo 3 Refueled playlist is going away soon, so I think the game would really benefit from a 5 versus 5 playlist. Give it a try, see how people like it. Halo 5 had a lot of 5v5 playlists, my favourite being Shoddy Snipers, but it's just something I thought I'd add in at the end. Finally, Max Hobeman was interviewed by Kotaku, and there's two very important quotes I wanted to read to you guys. Max said to Kotaku, nobody wants to be told the way you enjoy playing the game is wrong. But that's what's happening, effectively. This means if you're good at the game, you're going to get punished. But the way the system currently is, the only way you're going to win a game is if you outperform expectations of what the system has for you, which means it affects everyone from bronze to onyx. If you want to win a game, you better perform well. And in saying that, the better you perform, the higher the system is going to expect you to perform and then it just becomes unrealistic, which in turn makes you lose, which in turn gives you unwinnable games, which in turn just feels unfair. That is how the system works. I'm so glad Max actually put it into words as it has absolutely nothing to do with beating low ranked players. It's the overall experience, the social features, and I really hope they're added to whatever Halo game or whatever big update comes to Infinite in future. To finish up today, Max does one final quote, and he says, I don't think skill should be a primary factor when determining who to match into a casual lobby together. And the fact that Infection, Griff Ball, even Halo 5 Action Sack has strict skill-based matchmaking to the point where you can't play with friends, a party-based mode, and you can't play with friends. I don't get it. It just doesn't make sense. So guys, I thought this was a very interesting read. Max is an expert in the field, and to get his opinion, I think is invaluable. He gives a really good insight behind the curtain of what he planned to do with Halo 2 and Halo 3, and I think it really contributed to those games' success. So let me know down in the comments, what do you think of what Max said? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.